I was praying about that one. I said, nah, I'm glad I got it coming. Now I need to go and possess it. Now I'm getting ready to get you to say something that's wild, but you said you believers. You said you're a believer. All right, say this out loud. <laughs> I possess. Millions. Millions. Say this, and God wants me to have it. Now, why, why does he bring out the qualifications for the people who will get this, the righteous? Why did he bring that out? Why did he just say, why did he say it's coming to the right? See, he, he was very specific. It's going to come to the righteous. Money is nothing but an amplifier. It'll amplify who you are. If you are selfish and you get millions of dollars, it's the, the millions will amplify your selfishness. And it, we'll be able to see it immediately because millions amplify. If, you, if, you, if you're an adulterer, you'll now go to the Bahamas and get the top presidential suite you can lie better you can do all with millions see whatever you're doing you can do it better now God's not going to be an aid to helping you destroy yourself poverty will do that so you've got to ask yourself am I ready for the manifestation of what's been laid up for me do I walk in love? Do I have strife in my heart against somebody? Do I have this inferiority that's still there? Am I envious and jealous of somebody? Do, am I full of strife? If those things are there in your life, if you've not been able to conquer your character flaws, then you're not ready for what's laid up. If you're not if you've not conquered your character flaws, you're not ready for what's laid up. Because what's laid up will hurt you. If it come to you like you are in a flawed position. So character is a high priority for millionaire status. And that's the thing we hadn't heard. We've been trying to get Cadillacs and trying to get money and trying to get house without character. You got to be in love with Jesus first. He's got to be your priority. You're spending time in prayer first. You're spending time with his word first. You've taken on the heart of a servant first. You won't walk in strife with nobody. You won't be angry with folks. You won't let any of those things disease your heart. You're going to be a Christian first then it can find you. But it's not going to be allowed. The type that comes from the word can't come to you until Hanamosha. Prosperity from the word will only show up where the word is. Hallelujah. And you got to become the word. Hallelujah. Oh, I smell something getting ready to happen in this place. Not, not here tonight. I'm just saying there's go, something going on in your mind. Your thinking is changing. You, you're seeing this stuff. It's keeping it simple. Just making sure you see what needs to be done. There is no way that any principle of God is going to work to its highest point when character is at its lowest point. Remember, you will never go beyond the level of of your character never never and tonight may you pursue holiness like you've never pursued it tonight may you pursue the presence of God like you've never pursued it tonight may you pursue walking in the love of God like you've never pursued walking in the love of God tonight May you pursue sanctification to sanctify yourself away from those things that, 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 that ruin character. And as you do so, I declare before heaven that there are candidates for this laid up wealth.
this lady died and left millions of dollars to this little dog in New York. What are they going to do when that dog die? That money, that, you, that, money, that money don't belong to the daughter. That's, that's our money. That, that money don't, somehow that money going to get put in somebody's hands. Oh, I believe it. Ah, God can't do that. You better check with the children of Israel. I'm sure they never thought they would possess the wealth of Egypt. But my God... Oh, that it be shekekele laba. I want you to see what they, we'll talk about that a little later. But God anointed the women. And they went before the Egyptians. And the Bible says they insisted. They had to call for it. It's not just going to fall on you. You got to get this in your mouth. You got to call for this. You got to release your faith for this. Like anything else. Like anything that we believe in. Not, you're healing. You ain't gonna get healed by keeping your mouth closed. You're not gonna get delivered by keeping your mouth closed. This is the most powerful thing we possess as a Christian. This is how we reel it in. Somebody got to start saying every day, "I'm a millionaire." I don't care what it look like. I'm a millionaire. Don't you ever say you broke another day in your life. Don't you ever go around talking about what you ain't got. Don't you go around talking about lacking it. If you open your mouth up to say anything about your financial portfolio, say from this day on, I'm a millionaire. Well, Pastor, I'm going to say I'm a billionaire. Look, dude, millionaire first, billionaire next. Be getting greedy. Just million first. You see what I'm saying? It's faith. Faith and it's righteousness and walking in the right kind of character and sticking with the word. Now, this is very important now what I'm about to show. Worldly riches walk hand in hand with corruption. Worldly riches walk hand in hand with grief. Worldly riches walks hand in hand with disease and with death. People look at the lives of the ungodly rich 